Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon Soulstones. Last episode we found out where we need to go next. Gonna try and get to Shaman's Shrine, have to head to Amberforge. Started making our way through this little ice cavern and we found the best Pokemon. We found a original uh, Zora that just looks so so good. Ice and dark. Uh, our Trico evolved which is looking real cool, cannot wait to see the Sceptile. Um, Ducklet still just being awesome. Uh, Fletchinder's almost a town flame. Seal, still a seal, and then we evolved our Staryu, which just looks, this looks absolutely gorgeous. I, I love this so, so much. We also had like a little, um, like, flashback, where it seems like we've been here before. So something is, uh, is not right. Something is definitely not right. So let's make our way out, and we can make our way to Amberforge. Oh, nice, and I get healed up. Is that a hidden grotto right here? Oh, Poggers, let's go. What we got? Ooh, a fortress. So I'm guessing it's going to be shiny, because I feel like every time we find a Pokemon in here, it's shiny. Is that a shiny fortress? Oh, that's a cool shiny. That's actually kind of a cool shiny. Um, I haven't got many balls. I'll, I'll try and get it. Like, I'm not... I'm not going to use it. But, uh... It does look really cool. I legit think... <sighs> I don't know if I'd ever use in this game a normal Pokemon, unless the shiny is like really, really cool. I know you're going for Bide, but it's fine. All right, let's see if we can capture you, please. Ah, oh, I got so close, so close. Um, just gonna anyone. Like, it doesn't matter if we get taken out because there's a Nurse Joy, literally, right next to us, so it's all good. Hey! So we caught that. Awesome. Alright. Also, to my question, last episode I was like, oh, I can't think of an Ice Steel type. Alolan Sandshrew and Sand Slash, you guys told me. Honestly, I, even though I saw it in the game last episode, like we battled against a few, it didn't click. It didn't click, couldn't remember. <laughs> oh, like... Honestly, there's just too many Pokemon right now, and then too many Fakemon on top of that. That, like, just a lot of times, I just forget, like, something exists. Wish I had a stronger memory with all the Pokemon, but, dude, when you play so many games, so many games with so many Fakemon and just different types, and... Oh, it's just it's too many, man. It's too many. There was a time where I probably would remember everything, but it just, yeah, that's not going to happen anytime soon. All right, let's go Night Slash here. There's a Lolan Raichu's really destroying me. What? Uh, this is not looking too good. Um, dude, you want to chill? Doing so much damage. Oh, nice, got a critical hit. That actually really helped. Oh man, that Alolan Raichu. Um, let's go on a Ducklet. Probably one shot like most of my team. Right, let's go air slash. Hopefully we we'll get the flinch. Nice. Flinch again. Critical hit. And a flinch. I'll take it. Nice. I, I feel like Ducklet is going to carry us with like its ability and just um, just like flinch and everything. Mm. Problem is we don't have to be this though. Unless we get quick claw activated. Sucks. Oh, dude, I need to switch. Okay. What I think I'll do is I will... My speed drop's actually pretty good. Heal up Starmie. Because if we can get a rock throw off, that would be really good. And we'll go for... Let's heal up you just in case. All right, now we switch. Double slap shouldn't do much. Nice. Okay. Now we go rock throw. First battle of the episode, we're getting absolutely destroyed, man. But once we get to the uh, Amber Forge, is it Amber Forge? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the name is Amber Forge. When we get there, we're gonna go to do a little bit of grinding. Not too much. I don't want to get like super OP like I did back at the last uh, last city. I think just one Blissey for each Pokemon without the Lucky Egg should be enough. But we'll see. Just please stop healing up. There we go. Oh my goodness, any more? Bruce, no, we're good, we're good. 
Man, that was a tough battle. Let's definitely get healed up. Alright, so where about... Oh, about to check the map actually, but... Guess not, you mentioned a hidden grotto when we found it. You got five Pokemon. Okay, um... It's not the best damage, but it will do. And the confusion. Of course you get the confusion. And of course I hurt myself. I think it's just easy if I go into Grove, I'll go for Night Slash. Three more levels, we get a Sceptile, which is going to be so cool. Like, we're definitely getting a Sceptile this episode. 100%. Actually, I'm thinking, uh, I should do it now. If you go Night, Night Slash, I'll do. I was thinking maybe Fury Cutter, and then we could just build it up, but... That's fine. Hey, one shot the do duo. Alright, Frillish comes back out. We Night Slash it. Night Slash everything. Get destroyed. Get destroyed. Oh, no, you lived. Oh, no. Oh, just living. Just living. Woo. And e Duosian. Oh, it's blue. Actually, looks really cool blue. I like that. I um, wonder what its typing will be. Maybe water? And then, wonder what the final evolution looks like. Yeah, that's definitely water type. That's cool. Uh, Feather Dance? No, I'm fine, I'm fine. Alright, so let's look at the map. Whereabouts are we? So we've still got a bit of a ways to go to get to Amber Forge City. Which is fine. Just hope we can make it alright. Uh, yo, I love catching bug Pokemon. Why? <laughs> oh, I can tell with the six six Pokemon you got there, but they're all bugs, so we can just rock through everything. Focus energy, yeah, it's all good. Focus that energy. Focus that, all that energy into losing. One oh, damn. Just keep on rock throwing. Also, the good thing is the creator said that it doesn't matter that I evolved Star You or into Star Me early. You know, so potentially we could lose out on um, learning moves. All the Pokemon, I think he said all the Pokemon, at least Starmie anyway. Um, they'll learn the moves if, you know, you want to evolve them early. So it's all good. All good, nothing to worry about. So I was thinking, oh, no, I'm going to have to wait to uh, find like a, a move relearner or find some TMs. But no, it's all good, it's all good. So getting Starmie right now is, is really awesome. Just, oh, I'm so happy. This design is so cool. Like, legit, they should make this into a real Pokemon. Like, a real regional. Ah, oh, that'd be so cool. Alright, whereabouts are we now? Uh, so we can go... Nope, still down a little bit more. There's lots to explore. You have all the bugs okay? He really does. He has all the bugs. I'm running low on rock throws, so this is not great. We can learn like rock slide. Or like another rock move. Like within the next 5 PP. That would be so cool. <laughs> Come on, man. Level up before we run out of PP, learn a rock move, and I can just learn it and then we'll be absolutely fine. <laughs> no! Oh, we got taken out, it's fine. Uh, let's go Fletchinda, because I want to get that Talon Flame. I'm not sure if Spark's better here or Wing Attack. I feel like what wing attack would be, but I mean, Spark's still fine. And then we'll go quick attack, finish you off. Awesome. And Larvesta, uh, we could stay in. Just go wing attack. Nice! Oh, that's so good. Very nice. Ooh. Alright. What else have we got around here? So that's a TM? I think. Oh, I should check the encounters. Oh, no. <laughs> no, let me run away. Okay, you can't hurt me, and you won't let me run away. Legit, you cannot hurt me. You have four electric moves, and you will not let me run away. You can't do anything. Honestly. Did any? Oh, I see a uh, regional rufflet. Uh, anything else? No, so just a rufflet. Hmm. I don't really care for one, to be honest, but you turn. And what we got now? We got a Blitzel. That's easy for strike out. Dude, I gotta switch out with uh, Seal. They're not letting me run away. It's so frustrating. Um, let's go Fletchinder. 
And yeah, I'll pop a repel, why not? You've almost reached Amberforge, yay! Almost. And when we get there, we're gonna get nice and uh, trained up. And critical hit, that really sucks. We're gonna get trained up and then we can just destroy everyone. I think level like 34 would be a really good level. So that won't make us too OP. Nice. And that means we can keep up with everyone else. Alright, air slash. Nice. Got that flinch. Let's go. Dude, we're going to be flinching all the time. Learn we'll eradicate. That's awesome. I should have probably gone disarming voice. If I can get like a... Uh... Ooh, actually I'm thinking. Would play rough be good? Let's yawn because I feel like I'm going to end up losing this battle. Uh, if I don't kind of just stall a little bit. Yeah, that critical hit. That critical hit sucks. Oh, I'm gonna go mud shot then. Oh, you woke. Of course you wake up. I gotta go for a uh, revive. That's so annoying. I thought maybe I should go for um, go for mud shot to lower the speed, just in case. And yeah, that should have done that definitely. Although you had sucker punch. So oh, dude, we miss the dual chop. <laughs> Okay, so now we won. I have to redo that battle, man. That sucked. Oh, I can't believe it. All right, super repel. That's not bad. And I want to grab that item. What we got? Iron. Sweet. So we have to go around this way. So almost Amber Forge. Let's not pop a repel. Because I think we're about here. I swear I'm the last one. Okay, good. Good, good. Uh, let's go wing attack and poison point. Oh, that's fantastic. That is just lovely. Lovely jubbly. Alright, well, let's go Psybeam. Sweet. And Moonlight. Gonna be dancing in the moonlight. Sweet. In Ski, we can go for a rock throw. And more rock throws. A critical hit. Let's go. And another critical hit. Wow. We can side beam you. Nice. Oh, dude. This is going pretty well. Uh, I don't know. I feel like side beam might be the best here. I don't think Rockfro would do too much. Come on, wake up. Hey, let's go. Right, don't yawn me again. Actually, do yawn me. It doesn't matter. We're going to get taken out. Okay, so now we have arrived at Amber Forge City. Ooh. Uh, my grandmother used to uh, love bird Pokemon. A long time ago, she was a strong trainer from a faraway region, but she's now since passed away. Oh, that sucks. Uh, she moved here a long time ago and built a small birdhouse near the entrance to Route 103. When she was dying, she asked that her remains be buried at the birdhouse she built. I go by there every now and then to feed the birds and sometimes to just unwind and talk to my grandmother. Lately though, I don't know why, but the nearby birds have become incredibly aggressive. It's become so bad that any time I approach them, they swarm me. Very distressed because the birds otherwise used to be very friendly. Feel as though that, feel as though my grandmother is angry with me for some reason. Would you have to check out the birdhouse on Route 103? Your Pokemon, okay, yeah, sure, I can definitely do that, 100%. So that's the case, that's not a very nice thing to do considering what the bird house means to me. Okay, right, let's get some berries. Get all the berries. Get all the berries. And some more. Right, so what is this place? Let's grab this. Got a water stone, sweet. Hello, I'm the nectar vendor. I sell a special assortment of form changing items. Oh, okay, for a choreo. No, I'm good. I uh, work at the academy, I'm just getting some fresh air. So this is the academy? Right, let's check back here in a second. I do want to just go to the Pokemon Center and uh, grind up first. That is the I think the main thing. Right. Oh, it's a quiz guy, isn't it? Can I get the questions right? So, excluding its shaggy and natural form, how many forms of the fur I have? Oh, God. Eight? No, I don't know. I don't know how many forms it has. Six? Oh, that's five. Let's say six. Nope. Seven. 
I know it's got quite a fair few forms. Eight? Did I say eight the first time? Nine? Oh, it's got nine forms, okay. Furfra has nine uh, different trims that can employ, uh, wait, there is a Furfra breeder located right here in the Amberforge City. Okay, man, these questions. Which of the following Pokemon do not have a custom? Oh, whoa, okay. I've seen Ekans. I haven't seen these three though. I've seen a normal matchup, so I'm gonna say matchup. It's not matchup. Oh, okay. I feel like Tangela would make a great regional. So I'm gonna say Sandile. Okay. Right. Uh, sort by the Carlton Canyons to see if you can snag one of those for it. Okay. Who knows what the future might hold though? Perhaps more regional forms are still out there to be discovered. Last question is as follows. Hemor's Arch. Oh, it's um. Durant. Yeah, I knew that one. Wait, you got a scope lens. Sweet. Out of the uh, three questions, I literally just knew one. <laughs> right, uh, let's. Let me do quickly do some grinding. There's a lot of people in here. Yeah, let me do some grinding and then I'll uh, show you guys the results when we're done. Alright, so we have some evolutions. Let's see what they're going to go into. So our Talonflame is going to look. Oh, it looks pretty awesome. The yellow feathers look really cool. It really stands out with the black and blue. Alright, our Sceptile. Oh, dude, that's looking sick. That is looking so sick. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I love that so much. That looks so cool. Look at the spikes in the tails. Oh, sweet. And then we got our Zorark. Oh, that's looking cool. That is looking so cool. But let's do, 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 do a little bit more grinding because um, I focus on a few. Like, I might replace the seal. I'm not going to lie. The seal has been kind of bad, honestly. I don't know. I don't know if I want to use it. I mean, getting Dugong would be kind of cool, but at the same time, uh, I could potentially put on. Hmm. Um, Maybe he's got adaptability. That's not bad. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Ah, oh, such a hard choice. I think I'll just keep on for a little bit. We'll see what Dugon looks like first, and then we can make a decision later on. Let me do a little bit more. I need to get um. Seal, Zorag, and Ducklet to thirty-five, and then we are looking. Very nice. Let's take off the lucky egg and put it onto you. And that will help a little bit. Double check like the water stone doesn't evolve anything. I feel like... I could be wrong. No, okay. I think maybe the water stone evolves to seal, but I'm pretty sure a seal evolves to level up. But yeah, let me do a little bit more grinding. I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, so seal is evolving. Oh, I'm just kind of cute. Uh, slack off now, we're good. Oh, and Douglas evolving, nice! Oh, our team just got... Oh, that looks really cool. But our team just got real, real strong. This is, uh... This is pretty awesome. Right, so let's just heal up. And then we can explore the rest of this, uh, this city. And maybe make our way to Shaman's Shrine. Oh, dude, this is, look at our team, man. Look at our team. It is, uh... It's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. I don't think we're going to struggle with any battles for a while, anyway. Um, so we can't go this way. That's probably the way to go after we solve whatever crisis is going to happen. Uh, let's go in here. Uh, what up? Need your help with something? There are a group of hooligans that have been loitering around Amberforge City. I think some of them used to be employed by the mine, but were let go because of disciplinary reasons. Okay, I'm getting concerned because their illicit activities are affecting home prices in the city. A few days ago, our home was vandalized. My husband and I had recently put our house up on the market and we were ready to leave to go back to Sirius City. You can imagine that the recent act of vandalism didn't do wonders for our open house. I need you to teach those hooligans a lesson. They hang around the south side of Amberforge. Could you ask them to leave? Yeah, sure, I can do that. 100%. So we've got some biker hooligans to deal with. We have to go and deal with the angry birds at the birdhouse. Right. 
And yeah. Don't worry, I'll teach them hooligans a lesson, do not worry. What else we got around here? Got TM for Steel Wing. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, so the academy will check out in a little bit. Got these two houses and got Lucario here. Cool. Ready, Lucario? Left one. Oh, nice. Repeat, right one this time. My, my Lucario is unstoppable. I've got 999 battles without being defeated. I want to celebrate our hundred, or sorry, 1,000th win with a big feast. Yeah, I'll face you. Don't be level like 100. Ah, oh, 35, that's fine. We got this. Let's go, Bulldoze. <laughs> if we outspeed you next turn. It's fine. <laughs> Oof. No 1,000th win for you. I... How? I'm at a loss for words. This has been a hard loss for me, but a deal is a deal. Here, take this as your reward. Oh, focus band, thank you. Looks like Lucario and I will have to work our way back up to 1,000. Next time, though, I'll be challenging you for my 1,000th win. <laughs> Unlucky daycare man, okay. All right, uh, anything up here? So that's the Shaman Shrine, then. We'll do that last. Sup? Hello, I'm a fur frow groomer. Oh, okay. Don't have a fur frow, but uh, if you want a fur frow. I don't think I ever actually used a fur frow. Or oh, wait, what was that? Oh, you can groom the Pokemon. Okay. If I need happiness, then we'll come here. Yeah, I don't think I ever used a fur frow. I don't think I've ever um, even done like, the whole. Oh, Amulet Coin. Nice. The whole thing for um, changing its stuff and got rest. Cool. Let's put the Amulet Coin on. We'll start getting some money. Yeah, boy. Let's go Talonflame. Mm. I feel like crits for you would be nice. One's all right. Why not? All right. So, uh, the south side. There they are. Oh, look, boys. We have a runt that wants to come into our territory. Quick, give me your Pokemon, boys. I'll use them to beat this trainer into a bloody pulp. <laughs> You think you can beat me? You think you can beat me? I don't think so, dude. I don't think so. Easy. What, more poison types? Bring on them poison types. We got our ground type. We just bulldoze everything. I was thinking as well, like, because Dugon's not the strongest Pokemon, like, I think... Oh, I can't go for bulldoze here. If Dugon wants to learn Earthquake, I might just keep bulldoze instead just because I feel like having the speed decrease will be so much more beneficial later on that's how I thought about like other games like um was it was it reborn I had a guard chomp there was like one game where I had to like just get rid of my earthquake for bulldoze because the speed decrease just helped me out so much more I mean bulldoze doesn't do that you know are you what mate <laughs> doesn't do um that you know Less damage than Earthquake, but I was not expecting to get owned like that. Alright, what the hell do you want then? This lady wants you guys to stop loitering around the city. Your gang's presence is, um, causing a drag on real estate prices. Well, maybe we'd have to resort to, uh, this, uh, gang activity if she hadn't fired my guys from the mine. My boys and I worked in construction. Why did we get fired, you ask? Because I started seeing some irregularities when my team started getting questioned about why our construction budget was way over. I didn't understand what was going on either. My boys and I had been doing a great job and all the progress logs showed we were under budget. Long story short, I did some poking around to figure out what was going on. Then uh, Candace got wind of my snooping. I think that lady and her husband are embezzling money from the mine. When I confronted her about it, she fired my entire team. This entire city is dependent on the mine for jobs and money. With uh, her letting us go, we had to resort to gang activity and selling drugs to make ends meet. Arguably, harmless crimes considering we don't even sell any of that hard stuff. But Candace, her fraud could mean that the hundreds of people in this city lose their job. She took our job. So if you believe me, just let her know I'm onto her and I'll find proof to expose her. So it's a matter of time until I expose her as the real criminal she is. Go on boys, let's go. Thanks for getting rid of those hooligans. We were just trying to enjoy our date. No problem, let's go and hand this in. Uh, yo, did you get rid of those hooligans? I did. You beat them, thank you. So relieved. Hopefully this will, be, this will buy my family the short... 
reprieve we needed for us to uh, sell this house and go back home to Sirius City. Yeah, about that. They mentioned something about you embezzling money from the mine? He's trying to tarnish my reputation. I ought to sue him for slander. He's just disgruntled because I realized he's been selling his drugs to other mine workers while on the clock. So, you do know him and his crew? Yes, I do. I'm sorry I didn't tell you that earlier. I didn't think telling a stranger all that history was important to know. In any case, I'm fed up with this city now. The dependence that this city has on the mine makes me uncomfortable when I come from a large, advanced city like Sirius City. I realized it was time for my family to move back to where I'm from, where there are far more opportunities. Do you believe me? Um... <sighs> so the problem is... They were causing trouble. And they don't have proof at the moment. She's embezzling money. So... I have to agree, I have to like side with her because at this point in time she has done nothing wrong but they have. So I have to agree with her at the moment. Alright, I'll excuse your earlier unfounded accusation. I do appreciate you teaching a lesson to Marcus and his crew. So I'll give you this item. Got a miracle seed, that's not bad. And 5,000 gold. Wow, I was not expecting that much as a reward. Thank you, lady. See, like... She could be evil, I don't know. If they had the, the evidence, yeah, sure. I'd, I'd agree with them, but... That's their word against hers, and to be fair, they did do bad stuff, so I have to... You know, have to do what I have to do. Alright, so let's check. Ooh. There's ten ranks. Okay, cool. Uh, let's check where we're going next. So 103 is... Where is 103? Up here. Okay, so the shrine. Well, the birdhouse on the way to the shrine. Wait, 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 wait. Let's go in here first. Talk to the professor. Attention students. Children, eyes on me, please. I want you to I want to see you listening. Uh, teaching is hard. You know, it's even harder because one of the, the pesky kids keeps stealing some of my medication. Really needed to um, concentrate. Can't teach if I don't have my um, medication. I'm very disoriented right now, but it might be because I took too much dosage during my lunch break. Hey man, what kind of medication are you taking exactly? Uh, listen, are you going to help me find my medication or not? Yeah, sure, why not? Thanks, it's a white powdery substance. And this is medication, you say? Uh, yes. Some prescription. Uh-huh, likely story. Hey, stop judging me and just keep it quiet. Don't tell the principal about it under any circumstance. Right. So, do one of the kids have the medication? Does the same thing that I've seen my parents do from time to time? Oh no, and then just this white powdery substance of the kitchen counter from time to time. Last, my, last time when I came back earlier from recess, he was at Lacey's desk doing it. Lacey's desk. Okay, um... Major status conditions are... Okay, yeah, I know this. Can barely see the board from here? No, no wonder, you're so far back. Right, uh, oops. Okay, so that was... I saw the teacher snorting some white powder near Lacey's desk the other day. So which one is Lacey? Most of the kids in school have parents that work for the mine. Oh, okay, you're Lacey. Know a lot about these uh, special kinds of Pokeballs. Go ahead, test me. No, I'm good. Just need to check your desk. Aha! Got the bright powder. <laughs> Alright, let's hand this in. So I blew almost all of my last paycheck on this dosage. Uh, I ain't gonna give you the medication, bro. No, please, you must. Nope. You shouldn't be doing this and teaching the kids. Just saying. So I'll be uh, keeping this and I'll um, I'll take care of it. Don't worry. Don't worry about that. I, I, I got this. Alright, let's bulldoze the spinder. Goodbye. And Rotom. Mm. Let's go to Zorak. Please get no more Rotom. Ah, I mean, it's still fine. Wow. It's good damage. I mean, we are telling was higher, I guess. Need my medication? Can you, like, just admit you might have a problem and seek help? Never! There must be something you want in exchange. Wait, I know. Give you one of my Pokemon. No. Okay, so you yourself, I suppose. Give you this instead. Uh... I'll take the rare candy. I'm fine with that. So if you want a Rotom or a Spinder, that's one way to get it. So, Route 103. Oh, you get a Froakie here. That's cool. Wait. I want to say it because... Two things. One, this could be shiny. Uh, I need to check the Froakie, because someone said Ash Greninja could be in this 
well, in this, in this, is in this game. So that could be a Froki with Battle Bond. Obviously, our Froki in the box has a um, has a protein. So we shall see. Let me check the encounters in a second. So let me go just double check. So if it does have Battle Bond, I. Dude, let me run away! Why does no one, like, wh why does every wild Pokemon just want to kill my Dugon so bad on my seal? So annoying. Anyway, if it is Battle Bond, then I may put it on the team. Because a lot of people want to see it, and to be fair, I quite like uh, Ash Greninja. It's got Storm Drain. Never mind then. If I can get, is there someone up here that does, changes the ability? Uh... Move two to that would actually be kind of cool. Move Maniac. I think I have a heart. Yeah, I have like at least one. Name Rater. Move Deleter. You're the training person. Right. If you know how to get it, then I will. I'll think about using it. Because I think at the moment, if I'm going to replace anyone, it's going to be Dugong. Like, Dugong's alright, but like, I don't know. I. I Feel like using someone else. Gonna go and if we're gonna fight those a bird Pokemon, it's probably best to go Talonflame actually. We can just like spark everything. Uh, let's go over here and deal with the birdhouse. Oh, the bird Pokemon near the birdhouse have whipped into a frenzy. Oh, there's a Mistrevious. Hey. Oh, look at the back. That looks sick. Ooh. This is really cool. Nice. Okay, so the bird Pokemon seem to have flown off. Perhaps Calm has returned to the shrine. Uh, let's take all the berries as well. That's my secondary reward. Just taking berries. All the berries. Thank you very much. And then we'll go hand this in and then we can head to Shaman Shrine and maybe get the Soul Stone back. Well, I say we get it back, like, I mean, we'll get it back, won't he? All right, so let's talk to you. Oh, it's just a ghost Pokemon rolling up the nearby birds? Well, that explains why they were getting so freaked out. Thank you for restoring calm to my grandmother's birdhouse. Now I can go back to spend some time with my grandmother. Please take this for your trouble. Ooh, a shell bell. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Who should I put that on? I'll do. All right, so let's start looking around. I need to ooh, get these berries as well. Gonna take a little bit of time. Which is a faster way to take berries. In every Pokemon game, I swear it takes so long. And last batch of cherry berries. And there's someone up here. We can. Oh, I check the encounters first. Tangela, hey. Right. Nothing, 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 nothing. 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 Okay. There's no Pokemon around here I want to get. Why is my reflection someone I don't know? Oh. I don't know, you tell me. A nice fighting type trainer. This is great because we can just uh, wing attack everything unless we get taken out by revenge we're fine though nice look at that damage good good vigor off on it should still be fine look for a spark this time nice all good level 36 and Beniri well let's stay in Damage, but it's fine because throw last one and we can finish you off. Ooh. Let's go. All right, so let me quickly heal up. Got some potions. I have three rare candies. I should. I won't use them right now because we don't need to. But if the trainers start getting a bit tough, then I can, uh, you know, I can use it just to help out a little bit. Ooh, not the greatest matchup, but again, that paralysis is kind of clutch. 
Nice. And one more spot. Oh, okay, I should have switched out, my bad. Uh, let's go... Let's go our Swanna. Because uh, Swanna learned uh, Primarina's signature move. But this one is actually looking real, real disgustingly powerful. <laughs> like, this is going to be great. Oh. And more Sparkling Aria. Easy peasy. All right. Uh, let's get some more berries. Also, uh, the creator said the berries have like different effects in this game, so like they will help out with some like tough battles. So if I, you know, get into a battle I can't win, I need to rely on some berries, then definitely check out the berries because they will help. And a safeguard. Okay, that's all good. It's all good. I think once Talonflame gets 37, I'll switch out with someone else. Uh, Rhyhorn, let's go. Let's go Stami. Try and Stami up a little bit. I feel like once the Stami gets, like, the moveset I want for it, I'm thinking maybe like Rock Slide, Psychic, maybe like Calm Mind. We'll just be destroying everyone. I feel like it's going to be like so powerful. Like, so far, I think the only permanent team members on my team are Starmie and Zoroark. Like, I'm open to switching the other Pokemon for other cooler Pokemon. Like, don't get me wrong, I do love Talonflame, I love Sceptile, uh, you know, I feel like Dugong. But, like, if I find something that looks super awesome, like that Chimchar, I kind of want to try that out. So, uh, you know, we'll see. Alright, let's keep going. I feel like, oh wait. Where? So I can just- I, I, I just got com confused for a second, I was like, I didn't realize I can go up and down like that, but... Anyway, yeah, if I, um, find the Chimchar, I think I'll replace the Talonflame, maybe? Oh no, Talonflame- actually, I, also Swanna. Swanna is also a permanent team member, because Swanna's just... Swanna's really good. But like, everyone else? It's fair game. Alright, uh, let's go Dugong. Did you probably take off the Lucky Egg on Dugong and put on someone else? Like, I think I put the Lucky Egg on, Lucky Egg on a permanent team member just so they can get all that sweet, sweet XP because we know they're not going to get, you know, replaced. An E Time Pole? Oh, that looks kind of cute. Get some grass? Yeah, it's going to be grass and get into Dugong. That's, uh,. Not great. Oh, dude, I should just switched out. Actually, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Will we? Paralysis? Now we're fine. Ooh. All right, so let me just do a little bit of switching. And take this. Gonna give you the scope lens. Gonna give you the lucky egg. And lead off with you for a bit. I feel like we'll find a healing person soon. Oh, there is a meal. Okay, so there's an item up there. So let me go back up. So we can grab this. Is that a hidden grotto? It is a hidden grotto. Nice. Red shard. Sweet. And choice specs. Okay, cool. And I gotta grab all these berries. Give me a second. So then we'll go down after this. We'll take on the two trainers. That'll be a nice double battle, which I'll make sure I lead off with two good Pokemon. Probably Starmie and Zorark together. And then uh, we can get ready to head to Shaman Shrine. Alright. And another one. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay. And there we go. And let's get ready for this battle. With these two. Alright, let's go! Match up and you do easy. I shot in. Not cosmic power, go for Psybeam. I mean, cosmic power is still good, don't get me wrong, but I would much prefer to go Psybeam. Alright, Swanner it is then. <laughs> 
Alright, it's Ice Shard and Air Slash. Alright. Easy. A Makahita knows. This is gonna be an easy battle. Really easy. Ah, uh, we missed the Air Slash. Come on, dude. Ouch. Ouch. Okay. Guess we are really weak to fighting, aren't we? This is not going that great. This is really not going that great. Uh, dual chop and sparkling. Oh, sparkling attacks everyone. Okay, I didn't realize that. I thought it was a single target thing. I was about to say, what's going on? <laughs> Ooh, Tarog. Okay, uh, let's just go see him again, really. Oh, fake out. Oh, you suck. It's fine though. It's fine. Rock slide. Ouch. Ooh. Okay, we're taking a bit of a beating. That was going a lot worse than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be nice and easy, but nice easy battle, but no. Max Dual Chop will finish you. Oh, we're gonna. Can we stop missing attacks? What is my accuracy, man? This is bad. This is very bad. See, Dual Chop would have just saved us from losing any more, but. It is what it is. You still have more Pokemon? Okay. It's Night Slash. There we go. Alright, so there's a meal. Anything else over here we need? Okay, so I'm guessing Shaman's shrine's like hidden behind that little bit of trees he's at. Let's grab all this. And I think I'm gonna go get healed up for next episode. So next episode we'll speak to a meal and go and um, head to Shaman's shrine. So I'll catch you guys back here next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.